रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट लाइट चेंजेस इट्स डायरेक्शन वेन गोइंग फ्रॉम वन ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडियम टू अनदर ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडियम दिस इज कॉल्ड एज रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट लेट इज कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस द फर्स्ट रिफ्रैक्शन अकर्स वेन द लाइट रे एंटर्स द ग्लास फ्रॉम एयर एट एन ऑन द साइड पी क्यू द सेकेंड रिफ्रैक्शन अकर्स वेन द लाइट एंटर्स एयर टू द ग्लास एट द पॉइंट एम ऑन द साइड एस आर For the first refraction, the angle of incidence is i, while for the second it is i one. The angle of refraction at n is r. Note that i one is equal to r. In the second refraction, the angle of refraction is e, which is equal to i. On both the parallel side P Q and R S of the glass slab, the change in the direction of the light ray is equal but in the opposite directions. Thus. The light ray MD emerging from the glass slab is parallel to the incident ray AN on the side PQ of the slab, but the emergent ray is somewhat displaced with respect to the incident ray. Laws of refraction. Let us study the light ray entering a glass slab from the air as shown in the figure. Here, AN is incident ray and NB is the refracted ray. First, incident ray and the refracted ray at the point of incidence N are on the opposite side of the normal to the surface of the slab at point C D, and the three incident ray, refracted ray, and the normal ray are in the same plane. Second, for a given pair of media, here air and glass are in the ratio of sine i to sine r as a constant. Here, i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction. Sine i upon sine r is equal to constant is equal to n. n is called as the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium this second law is also called as snell's law refractive index the change in the direction of the light ray while entering the different media is different it is related to the refractive index of the medium the value of the refractive index is different for the different media and also for the light of different colors for the same medium The refractive indices of some substances with respect to vacuum are given in the following table. The refractive index of the medium with respect to vacuum is also called as absolute refractive index. The refractive index depends upon the velocity of the light in the medium. Let the velocity of the light in the medium one be v one and in medium two be v two, as shown in the figures. The refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. 2n1 is equal to the ratio of the velocity of the light in medium 1 to that of medium 2 refractive index 2n1 is equal to velocity of light in medium 1 that is v1 upon velocity of light in medium 2 v2 similarly the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 is 1n2 is equal to v2 upon v1 If the first medium is vacuum, then the refractive index of medium two is called as the absolute refractive index, and it is written as n. Refraction of light in different media. When a light ray passes from a rarer medium to a denser medium, it bends towards the normal. When a light ray passes from a denser medium to a rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. When a light ray is incident normally at the boundary between two media. it does not change its direction and hence it is not refracted thank you for watching the video and keep watching the academic spot